Stuff happens, though. Gotta be understanding that people have stuff going on outside of, outside of school, outside of their work lives, then. Gotta be understanding of that. Three, two, one, go. Actually, can you even mash through anything with this? Let me see first. No loadless timer. No loadless timer for a demo. What's going on? This game doesn't even have a speedrun.com board yet. I'm sure it will once it comes out because this game looks like a lot of fun to speedrun. Like, I've been looking for a game to speedrun after I'm done with the animal challenge at the end of the year, which is... We're like a... We're a month and a half away from me being done with this entire thing. But like, this might actually be the game. Like, this seems really cool. If it comes out before AGDQ, like, my goodness. Yeah, we're trying to get to 36 games. I'm currently... So the 39 includes the 7 games I did before this year. So we're at 32, so I'd like to get to 36. That's been the goal. Darn it. <laughs> ah! No, let me keep going. Stop telling me what to do. Oh, yeah, you can. What does it say? I was really confused. I was pretty sure that you could uh, dash into that one. No, I just dashed. Hello? That's weird. <laughs> I have no clue why the collision for that was really odd. The FPS is too high. That legitimately could actually be the FPS being too high and it natively wanting you to have, um... What's it called? To be at 60 in the game. Some games act really weirdly at higher FPSs and not always in a good way. But, you know, this is we're learning. We're figuring it out. The last game I'm gonna do is Goose Game, I'm pretty sure. That's been the plan. Also, apologies, my voice sounds weird, or if I just, like, blank for a little bit. My brain's a little fuzzy. I've had a migraine pretty much this entire weekend. Did not want to land on that, but... Oh, no! I wonder if anyone else recognizes that sound effect. I tweeted about it, but it's bad. I've played so many games that I recognize shared sound effects between games. Oh, jeez. They might be better just to bounce on it and let it pop you up a little bit. I believe the gold for this is like 45 seconds, so. We're below that, we're bad gamers. Okay, we, we, we were, we're above that rather, sorry. <laughs> gotta split on the complete delivery thing, you gotta do it. So I'm gonna need a new chair soon. I just realized it literally tilted because I had to sit in it weird because of it um, like falling apart and doing some odd stuff. We did it! Woo! Yay! Keep it up. Thankfully, it meant you to the correct one already, or else it would have just mashed into the wrong place. Wah hoo 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 hoo. This is sliding fast, which we already played a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this should be like a 10 minute run. But yeah, jumping and dashing during the section isn't, isn't faster. You just want to keep hitting the boosts as often as possible. The fastest way of moving. If 
That's why you don't jump for the little collectible thing there, because then you just stay in the air longer. You just want to be in the air as little as possible. Even though usually when it, being in air is fine, because um, you move just as fast. I mean, you, you still preserve your speed if you jump, but you want to keep hitting these boosters over and over. Nice, got another 40. It's a pretty consistent level. Doesn't really take a lot of movement and interesting stuff going on with that, so. It's a very consistent 40. It was, it was a high 40, to be fair, but it's still 40. I think they're gonna have another cutscene and drag us back to the center again, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> it won't be as annoying when you play the... Yeah, they're gonna tell us about Rick's shop, I think. Or Rick's gonna tell us about it. Oh, never mind, no. They, everyone's gonna tell us about it. It's just that good. Alright, Carrot Ranch. The hardest of the three levels that you do in any percent? <laughs> in all levels, it's definitely not. But, um, for this one, it, it is. Whoops. Just skip the platform by getting enough speed. No! Okay, good. <laughs> he made it anyways. Ooh! I had never done it that way before, but that's okay. Ooh! Okay, we're good. You can just skip a bunch of things. It's pretty nice. That was really good, actually. I think it's better than I did it on my main file. That was really clean. Minus the split being terrible. <laughs> 29 seconds, my goodness. That was pretty, pretty clean. Now we just have the boss fight, I'm pretty sure. Unless I remember this incorrectly. I don't think you even do the fourth level in this area, unless you want to. Yeah, because that area unlocks, and then the thingy pops up afterwards. Cool. -hoo. There we go. Yeah. The boss I've not been able to practice. Like I said, like you can't access the boss after you beat him, which is kind of silly. Even though the person you talk to to start the boss fight is, is still there. But it's okay. It's a demo. Howdy, come on over and talk to me. The movement getting there actually is a little bit sketchy. <laughs> All right, let's not fall repeatedly. Yeah, I don't think you can use this cannon. Yeah, this the cannon's locked after you use it for this. Right, the only way to practice is to fail it repeatedly. Don't worry, we're gonna do that. I think that the projectiles disappear once you hit these things, so not too bad. There we go. I think it's better to go that direction, actually go back the way you came because you don't have to go on the small platforms then. Easy. Easy boss. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Get out of my video game. I usually went all the way around on the left side and you have to jump a bunch of like really tiny platforms and that just ends up getting bad. So this will be under 10 minutes. Nice. Don't know how much lower you can actually go with it. I think it makes